All right, guys, I love mail call. And I just got something from one of my favorites, PastorShaving.com. At first, I pulled it out of the package. I was like, what? There's nothing here. But now, as I have it in my hand, it's easy to wield. All right, let's stop fooling around. Let's get going. All right, guys, right out of the shower. I'm dealing with about three and a half, four days worth of growth. Came off a great shave with the Pearl Flexi. Oh, nice. And I'm going to be shaving with something new. The Goodfellow Smile Stiletto in Snake Green. Now, I saw this on my favorite website for men's grooming products, pastorshaving.com. I'll leave a link in the description box so you can check it out. Just a great place to order from free shipping, but it's also a great place to visit if you're in New York. And guys, I like doing business. I like doing anything with great people. Leon, the owner of Pastor, is just an awesome guy. He loves this community, loves people. Drop into his little pharmacy packed with shaving products, artisan soaps. It's a jewel in Manhattan. So if you ever get to New York City, you've got to get to Pastor. Now look at this beautiful stiletto Goodfellas smile made in Italy, guys. And the snake green plate here. Wonderful. I don't know if they have any left. They flew off the shelves, guys. This was an Instagram promo. And you know me. You know me, guys. So I'm a sucker for marketing. I picked this up. I'm a sucker for marketing. And Leon, you guys are doing some great marketing. So let's talk about the shave today. We're going to be using the stiletto. We're going to be using Pastor and Holy Cow. Their combination. Timmerman. Beautiful soap. I'm going to be using my favorite. My new favorite brush by FM Brush Company. This is the Traveler, little synthetic badger, premium synthetic badger, travel size brush that I just like to use at home, travel, whatever. It looks like a little lipstick case. All right. Throw that in your travel bag. Has a little vent here. I love it. Makes a great lather too, especially for us newbie types. I keep saying I'm a noob. That's going to get old. <laughs> and then another Pastor Pharmacy, Select. This is a combination, a collaboration, again, with another great manufacturer. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, PAA. Their Battle of New York City. Aftershave Cologne. Just, it's, it's gorgeous. It's great. All right. So I have been listening to you folks, and I have let the soap bloom. Now, this Timmerman soap is a thirsty soap, guys. Now, by letting it bloom, I've added a little warm water and let it sit to open up that soap and go right on that. Oh, yeah. So letting that bloom all, already, guys, right off the bat, has made this process easier. I still want to add a little bit more water. Again, on the thirsty side. So what I'm going to do, I'll dip this under the faucet, a little bit more warm water, and I can continue to build lather as I like. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice swirling action here, guys. Feels good. Opens up the pores. I don't know if it opens up the pores, but it certainly stimulates those whiskers. That shower will open the pores up. And I've got a nice, generous lather here as a nice base. Now I could continue to add water, more water, a little bit more volume. Continue to work it. But I think I'm ready to go because I'm excited about this new razor. Never used it. Made in Italy. Aluminum build. So it's a light razor. As opposed to my recent shave with the Pearl Flexi adjustable, which is a super heavy razor. All right. If you haven't seen that review, guys, check it out. 
I dropped it on Father's Day. But we're, we're talking about the Goodfellas Smile Stiletto. And I like it, you know? At first, I pulled it out of the package. I was like, what? There's nothing here. But now, as I have it in my hand, it's easy to wield. All right, let's stop fooling around. Let's get going. First pass with the grain of the hair on my face. If you're new to safety razor shaving, wet shaving, you want to use light pressure. You want to hit your face for a 30 degree angle. So like a slant, a little bit of a slant. And this comes with practice. And also, you wanna let the device do the work. You don't wanna dig, you don't wanna push, you don't wanna pull. I don't really like to stretch the skin. I just like to let it go, let it fly. And this is nice, guys. It's got a nice feel to it, nice and smooth. And again, it's lighter than your average bear. So I like that. No finger fatigue, no hand fatigue. Some of these heavier razors, you know, can be a little bit harder to, to use for us old guys. As you get older, you'll lose a little bit. Now on my neck, the hair grows in all different directions. So I'm just shaving upward to be with the grain of most of the hair, because most of it is growing upwards, but the neck has some sketchy hair growth. So I like to keep it consistent. I like to use a consistent method, and this is what works best for me. So with the growth, with the grain, on my face, I'm shaving down, and on my neck, I'll shave upward, guys, for that first pass. As you can hear, nice feedback. This is very, it's got a good feel to it. It's got a slim form factor, a slim head, and it's light, so you feel precise. You feel like you can get into the areas you can do some designing or some trimming here you feel very much in control of the razor and that's the first passes in the book first pass in the book and we're going to go with the second pass which is our cross grain pass go back to that original brush that original load And I'm going to work it in there. Nice. I like a face lather because when you're first starting to learn how to lather, it's frustrating to use a bowl, quite frankly. So if you've been frustrated using a bowl and developing a nice lather that you can take and then put on your face, just cut the middleman out and go right to the face. You'll be surprised at how much easier it is to get a decent lather going. Now, I'm not a fan of skipping any steps. I really want to get my bowl lather skills up to snuff. But I really do enjoy a face lather, guys. I enjoy it. So if you're enjoying something, just do it. Don't care what the lather snobs say to you. All right, cross grain pass. There's these little ridges here. They almost look like a fingerprint, if you look at it from afar. And it makes it grippy. And I like that. Oh yeah. I like this razor, guys. It's got nice style. Good, good form. I'm in control. Very, very nice. And I can use the other side of the double edge. Do you hear that feedback? Now on this cross grain pass, you're not trying to do too, too much, guys. 
Just let the device do its work and glide across the skin. Again, you're not digging and you're not really pushing it to a preconceived spot. Just let the contours of your face do all the work. Light touch. Uh, I'm noticing a really nice amount of feedback. So I'm gonna shut up for a little bit and just continue to shave and let you hear the feedback because I think it's wonderful. I'm going to interrupt the silence by saying I'm going to go to my third and final pass, which is going to be an against grain pass. I'm going to add a little bit more warm water, a little bit more soap, I think, or lather to the brush. And then the third and final pass, again, I will give you the shave ambiance, you know. Be quiet. I'm going to go back though. Get right back in that. That tin there. And just load a little bit more up on the brush. And then I'll shut up and let you guys uh, enjoy the silence. This final pass. You really don't want to do too much. It's definitely the type of razor that you can get in and you feel confident about trimming up the goatee again it's got a very nice slim form so if I wanted to style up you know get into those nooks and crannies get over here and trim up the sideburns perfect device for it I am loving Loving this razor. So the Goodfellows Smile Stiletto with the snake green plate from Pastor Pharmacy or PastorShaving.com. 
Average guy tested, average guy approved. Now I'm gonna rinse off with cold water, close the pores, and I'll get ready for the aftershave. Mm. Guys, the Timmerman, holy cow, and Pastor Pharmacy, special collaboration, average guy tested, average guy approved. Got my beautiful FM brush, the Traveler. Check it out, guys. Average guy tested, average guy approved. I'm going to be selling these. And when I have them ready, I'm going to let you know. And I've said that before, but I mean it this time. All right, two final steps after the cold water. First is, again, my PAA, Pastor Pharmacy, Battle of New York aftershave and cologne. Beautiful. A little splash of that. Ah, oh, yeah. Kind of finished up that nice shave. And I'm going to add a little bit of Cremo's Beard and Scruff Cream just to keep this goatee soft, supple, smooth. On that goatee. Try to get that up under that layer of whisker. As the beard or the goatee grows out, you really battle some itch. And this is a great way to keep the itch away to keep a nice moisturized and moisturized and manicured goatee. So there you have it, guys. Great shave today. I want to thank Leon again for having his candy store for the wet shaving community in New York City. Again, New York City. Or online links below check them out and when you get there and when you order tell them the average guy sent you guys have a great day i'll see you next time which who knows but in the meantime you know what to do keep punching play now roll the music